All right. Now, eventually, I'm going to want my teachers to teach the gospel. Everybody's okay with this? Lord, this, this comes as quite a shock to us. Well, what does your doctrines tell you you should do seeing as I'm here? Like, are you guys gonna like get together and pray and receive more confirmation? The Holy Spirit had me watching um, The Chosen, and I love The Chosen. Season three, it was episode three. <clears throat> and I was tracing it back to um, what happened in this day and age at the um, reading of Isaiah. And the um, rabbi at the time, you're not gonna read the part about the day of the Lord's vengeance. And that's the second half of the messianic prophecy. And at that time I said, no, I'm here for salvation. I'm still here for salvation, but the scripture says I will have rewards and recompense. Blessed are you, it's not recompense for you. Yesterday, I was um, feeling it in the spirit. A lot of you that were under control of that false Holy Spirit are awake and good, good. Well, when your loyalty is to yourself, it makes it difficult for you to work as a teammate, beloveds. And that's what I really saw in um, my kingdom marriages a lot. I'm going to have to call this the marriage walk <laughs> so I can teach you about this. This is the first time kingdom marriages have actually been implemented. So it's pretty exciting regarding um, what it's actually going to provide my people. Huge blessing, beloved. It's huge blessings. I wasn't going to let anybody miss out on it. So I really um, stay and stay focused on um, kingdom marriages, prioritizing, of course, my own wife. <laughs> and then I want my kingdom husbands to have that same stance. What needs to be understood, your attention span is going to have to expand a bit in my class, all right? Um, Christianity is not what it was in the 50s. It's not what it was in the 70s. It's not what it was in the 90s. It's not what it was in the 2000s. And it's definitely not Christianity anymore. So walking with Jesus supersedes doctrine. And I went out of my way to prove that. Many of mine are um, using their church, their YouTube channels, and then expanding that into a physical ministry, whether it be um, starting their own businesses through their YouTube, which makes perfect sense because there's no overhead. Um, they get paid by YouTube. It's an amazing concept I came up with in 2018. <clears throat> I 
I have really no issue with anybody making money off my name. <clears throat> you need money to um, thrive. You do. A pastor used to say it all the time. Problem is, we need money for our church. The good news is, it's in your pockets. So <clears throat> when you have that much devotion to your church, how much more should you have to Team Jesus, my actual team, my soldiers, my teachers, my prophets? The scripture says that I'm going to establish my kingdom across the earth. That's what I'm doing. That's what your doctrines should have prepared you for, to be a part of that, to be prepared for that. That is what the Gospels said, beloveds. So this new thing that I have blared out through my prophets, I am doing a new thing, I am doing a new thing, I am doing a new thing. is done and watching it flourish um, to be implemented in this day and age and that we're in the kingdom age, the age to come is gonna remain the kingdom age for a very, 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 the purpose of all of this, bringing heaven to earth. It's for you. Your um, understanding has to come from either I know you or I don't know you. If I don't know you, then it behooves you to get to know me. And I do everything by seasons and step by step. He prepared the inner sanctuary within the temple to set the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord there. The inner sanctuary, all right, perfect. So that's confirmation that I'm still focused on that, Mary. <clears throat> and then we wanted her to be a part of that. <clears throat> and it also means that your church is gonna be in your home. That's where you wanna start. Um, you as a team, Kingdom Spouses, what I saw a lot and walked out with you, um, the effect you guys have on each other, you have to be more um, interested in having the effect that you want on yourself by giving that same effect to your spouse, you'll, uh, of course, see that uh, symbolically paraphrasing, do unto others how you would want done to you in your marriage, beloveds. Did it have to get this way where I'm separating two children on a playground? It actually did. So, <clears throat> The passion and the love whether one was trying to maintain it from the other and then using worldly tactics to do so or one was scared of losing it and taking worldly advice to maintain it or uh, the lack of understanding that the church system and its advice of you 
Don't worry about what Jesus said. Worry about what we say. We will give you good advice on this because our great leader, Paul, has said, it sounds like I'm scorning the church, but these are the inflammatory words that have to be said for you to wake up and who you are responsible to and who holds your peace, beloveds. I love you.